What's good folks? Reds here. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, thanks to the folks at West Coast Shaving for inviting me to be a part of the uh, Daily Shave series. It's an educational series that they uh, run through their uh, YouTube channel and it uh, aims to show new wet shavers and veterans alike uh, tips, tricks, how to lather uh, soaps, aftershaves, hardware. It features it all. So it, I've been watching it quite frequently myself and I really enjoy the uh, the shaves themselves by the uh, content providers and uh, I love the organic experiences you get to share with them as they uh, do a full shave. So we'll start off with the uh, brush I'll be using today which is the uh, West Coast Shaving Red Jasper handle with the new black synthetic knot as you can see uber dense knot super soft tips uh, almost no glue bump to speak of at all um, this is set nice and high but it, it, it's got quite a bit of backbone to it and the uh, splay area gives a great coverage as, as you'll see when I start to uh, swirl it up for the soap we'll be using uh, Declaration Grooming Chatelian Lux Collaboration Soap Colonia Balsamica and uh, this is very similar to the scent of uh, Aqua de Parma. This is uh, Chatelian Lux's take on it. This is the Bison Tallow Soap Base um, from Declaration Grooming. And uh, this has been recently released as a uh, mainstay in the Declaration lineup. So we're going to wet the brush. Shake it out a little bit, a little bit damp. And we'll uh, start the loading process here. I'm fortunate here in the uh, central part of Massachusetts to have very soft water, so uh, lathering soap is quite easy for me. Um, I don't typically have any issues with mineral content in my water, uh, which can prohibit lathering. That's probably going to be plenty of uh, loaded into the brush here. We'll wet the face up and we'll start talking about it as we uh, lather here. A little bit dry so I'm going to dip the tips again. So the Declaration uh, soap base is medium firm. Um, this is a nice scent if you enjoy that Colonia type Italian barbershoppy citrusy type scent and uh, <clears throat> it's quite nice for this time of year. It's about I think it's about 92 degrees right right now here in Massachusetts, so fitting for the day's weather. As you can see, this soap whips up extremely easily. It's uh, got a great sheen to it. It, it reminds me of like Elmer's glue um, with its sheen. One of the uh, Best tips I can give new shavers in terms of uh, lathering and whisker preparation is aside from making sure your whiskers are hydrated um, externally by either taking a shower or soaking your face with a warm face cloth or a hot towel or something, wet towel ahead of time. Um, make sure you drink enough water, guys and girls. Just make sure your skin's hydrated. Um, really helps the uh, the skin stay, stay resilient and uh, you'll get better shaves I promise so that's whipped up really nice here um, this is probably something new for you all since most of my uh, content is edited down heavily but that's about my leather process right there I'm gonna have plenty in the brush so now I clear off my uh, goatee which a lot of you don't even know I have because it doesn't come through very well on the camera clear my neck a little bit And then I have the uh, unfortunate experience of having a couple scars up on my uh, cheekbones that I always clear away so I don't run them back over with a straight razor. Which will open it right back up. <coughs> so.
So dry your hands well. Today's razor of choice is a uh, Martinez Blades. That's Mike Martinez. Uh, this is a 10 eighths, what he calls bull mastiff. That's the shape of the razor. 10 eighths is the width of the razor from the spine to the edge. It's a uh, full hollow razor. It's got these beautiful uh, spalted maple scales and uh, nickel penning. I prefer to put one index finger on the uh, the razor's backside here and two on the tang, um, as you've probably seen before, and my thumb goes here underneath. Uh, a lot of people talk about seeing over the blade. Uh, in order to do that, what I do is I tilt my head down a little bit um, while maintaining the razor perpendicular to my head and always uh, stretch your skin opposite the direction you're about to shave. For a big razor blade like this, uh, for all straight razors really, you really want to just let the weight of the razor do the work for you while maintaining the uh, proper angle which is about one spine width away from the uh, face. Obviously you don't want to be talking during the shave uh, while you're learning. I have quite a bit of experience. Well, Put that to the test today and see if I don't cut myself. You can see I'm bleeding a little bit. I ran over a uh, bit of acne. It's been uh, warm out here, so my uh, the couple days a week I do get a, to get a run in um, at lunchtime at work. Uh, I've found that my skin hasn't reacted well to the sweat, even though I shower. It's still, uh, I still sweat quite a bit afterwards, and uh, as such, I get a little bit of uh, acne going on, but we're doing all right here. It's important when you're uh, learning a straight razor to make sure you have your beard mapping down properly. Um, nothing's worse than trying to go at a uh, straight razor shave without knowing which way your whiskers are growing. If you are interested in uh, getting into straight razor shaving and you've acquired one, I would highly recommend you doing the uh, 30 shave challenge, which is 30 straight shaves with a straight razor. Uh, it's really helpful for muscle memory. Uh, just so you know, when I look down here, I'm actually taking a towel and wiping the blade um, rather than running the water. You don't want to put too much water near the blade. So that was my first pass. I do two passes with a straight razor. Just going to wet the face a little bit. And we'll lather up for pass number two here. Some people need three passes with a uh, straight razor. I find two gets me uh, about as smooth as I can be um, with no irritation. And uh, no issues. So this lather has dried out just a touch while it was sitting here on the counter. I'm painting it on a little bit and I'm actually going to dip the tips just a little bit into the water. Just kind of re-agitate a little bit of water into this. This is not as extremely luxurious feeling. Um, one of the nicest black and white synthetics out there right now. Um, a lot of people talk about tuxedo knots and the, the maggard offerings. This one is definitely on par with those. I've really enjoyed how this feels. So, as you can see, still plenty of lather going. We'll clear back up again here. And uh, 
dry my hands and move on to the uh, second and final pass for me. Stretching the skin. As big as this blade is, it's actually quite nimble in the hand. It has some weight to it, but nothing to be scared of. You just kind of let it do the work. This is what they call my unicorn razor. Um, Martinez blades are not cheap in my opinion, uh, but they're custom made in Texas and I was fortunate enough to uh, save up the required funds to be able to afford this last bowl. Holds a really nice edge. This declaration uh, soap based post shave is really nice. As you can see, I like to rub the uh, what little lathers left on that side into my face before I switch over here. Speaking of switching over, um, if you are getting into straight razors, as uh, scary as it sounds, I do recommend you learning um, shaving with both hands ambidextrously. Uh, it just makes life easier once it's learned. It may add some time to your learning curve, but it's well worth it in my opinion. Um, there's certainly nothing wrong with doing one hand if you're most comfortable with it, but in the long run, I think you really would enjoy the uh, the benefits of switching hands. I was talking to a, a fellow at the last meetup I went to, and he said, if I'm going to bother learning to uh, shave with a straight, I might as well go all the way and learn it the right way or the old-fashioned way. So... Shave's done. Um, gonna rinse the face here. Got a couple areas where I ran over acne, as I said, but nothing. I'm not gonna bleed to death, as you can see. Um, if you were truly bleeding or wanted to stop it, I definitely recommend you grabbing a uh, styptic pencil. Um, I just wet the tip just a little bit and I'll put it on the area and uh, let it dry off while I clean up um, and what that'll do is that'll clot the blood and stop the bleeding just make sure you don't leave it on your face um, because this will dry out your face very well uh, or a lot I should say and uh, you definitely don't want that As you can see, still plenty of lather in this brush. Um, if I were to continue the video, I'd be going over and doing a dome shave, but we're not going to do that today. Um, but you can see still plenty of lather in this brush. Nice peaky lather. That declaration uh, bison towel soap base is one of my favorites. Um, really nice. And this brush really cleans up well. Beautiful. I don't think the uh, the camera doesn't really do it any justice in terms of how pretty it is with the gray charcoal and red accents in here. To uh, finish this shave off, um, quick rinse of the face. We'll pat it dry here. And uh, we're going to apply some of this Fine Accoutrements Platinum Aftershave. Um, this is modeled after Creed Aventus. 
and uh, from what I understand it's probably one of the most accurate representations of it around it's got a uh, smoky pineapple note that I I really enjoy and it goes well in my opinion with the uh, Colonia Balsamica all right so just a quick recap the uh, brush of the day was the West Coast shaving red Jasper with the uh, black synthetic knot 24 millimeters I believe the um, Soap, Declaration Grooming, Stratillion Lux Collaboration, Colonia, Balsamica, and Bison Towel Base. Uh, the Razor Blade, Martinez, Bull Mastiffs, 10 eighths. And uh, finished it off with Fine Accoutrements Platinum Aftershave. Really enjoyed doing this. I appreciate the uh, guys that. West Coast Shaven asking me to uh, provide one of these. I really enjoy watching the ones that are currently out there. I urge you all to check them out as well. Um, and if you like what you've seen out of me and want some uh, shortened product review videos, uh, that's my specialty. And you can uh, check me out on Red Shaves. Thanks all for watching. See ya.